when I saw it, I thought that's what it was. At the end of the day, you, things happen for a reason. She's worked so hard and she's done so much. Why are we back? She can go through ACL surgery and go back just as good. I went through it and I fought through it and so I'm here now. Okay, um, I'm Olivia Elmore. I'm a senior at Dennis County High School, and I'm the point guard for the basketball team. Olivia is one of the most toughest, just competitive kids um, that you've ever coached. She works hard in everything that she does. She fights. She's got grit. And I think you can see that with the way she's returned and the way she fought to get back on the basketball floor. Uh, Olivia's basketball career for her has always been intense. She's always played intense. We've always worried that she was ever going to get hurt because of the way she was flying around, running into the walls, jumping into the bleachers. So we didn't know it was going to be a severe, but we wondered if there'd be an injury in her future. Olivia is hard-headed. She always has a chip on her shoulder. She hustles. She plays with her heart and has an attitude that's hard to beat whenever it comes to a sport like basketball. It's so it's so fast and I'm so quick and the game's so fast and it's always about like it's about running and being competitive and that's exactly how I am so I think I just fell in love with the game of basketball just from those details. Olivia's had a you know a challenging high school career. Her freshman year, you know, we were very excited about her athleticism coming in, knew she was gonna be able to be a contributor. And then I probably Less than six weeks in, she ended up with a broken bone in her foot. So she lost a lot of her freshman season. It was just, it was frustrating for her, it was frustrating for us. And then sophomore season, she had an outstanding sophomore year. She was averaging, I think, close to 15 points a game, shooting 40% plus from three. So we were in the stands uh, prior to her injury, watching the sectional game against Bedford North Lawrence. Um, the way she plays, she goes down a lot, so you really never know what to think when she goes down. Um, but normally she pops right back up and she takes right back off. And so we knew when we seen her go down and she kind of struggled to get back up that it was probably something a little bit more serious than her normal injury. Obviously it was intersectional. Um, she went down, we were in our zone. She was you know, trying to laterally move to get to the wing. And I've seen a lot of those injuries. And when I saw it, I thought that's what it was. I saw it, I looked over and I saw it happen and I knew it wasn't good because of how she went down and my heart dropped. In that moment, I didn't realize how like heartbreaking that it was actually going to be. And so then when it like actually came around, it was like, like a w crashing into a wall, you know, like I didn't expect it, but <laughs> I went through it and I fought through it. And so I'm here now. Basketball for her is a piece of her. It's like losing a limb. So to hear that she was going to be out um, was really just heart-wrenching for her because that's her dream. You know, if you talk to her about what do you want to go to school for? She wants to go to school and play basketball. She doesn't know what she wants to do with her life beyond, you know, play basketball. And so um, it was it was extremely upsetting, um, you know, for us. But we really wanted to schedule the surgery and to move things along to get her, um, you know, her surgery done, take the first step and to start the, the road to recovery. So February, I believe, was the surgery. And then immediately after the surgery, we started uh, re rehabilitation. She, at the time, was looking forward to the recovery and knew that there's an end in sight. But I'm sure that probably got lost in, in the midst of recovery, understandably. And... I just was encouraging and knew that she was going to get through it because she's a strong person and has been through a lot in her life. And I've been by her side through a lot of it and have seen a lot of it. So I knew she could get through it. She was in a lot of pain for probably about the first uh, week. And then kind of after that, we began the uh, rehab and she really took to that. She was just really dedicated and like dead set on, you know, I'm going to work as hard as I can when I'm in rehab and when I'm not at rehab to try to return quicker. The anticipated time frame when you talk to surgeons is anywhere between six to 12 months for recovery. And of course, um, you know, her being her, she was dead set that she was coming back in six months. In the beginning, it was definitely, I was definitely hard headed. And I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be easy. This is going to be easy. And then it finally soaked in and I was like, okay, I'm actually, I'm actually going to have to work hard every single day if I want to get back to where I was when I got, before I got hurt. Pain management was a problem as far as um, 
they do she would do rehab and then of course there would be swelling and pain and so just kind of even the every day-to-day -day thing i would have to help her go to the bathroom um i would have to help her you know with the shower and god love her we didn't have a shower chair she was sitting on like a five gallon bucket with like a bath pillow in the shower because that's what we happened to have at the time because she couldn't get her leg wet um and it really the mental and the emotional toll that it takes on the kids is way more severe than what the physical toll is um just because you know for her taking her out of the sports that she plays was just the equivalent of losing a piece of her body you know she got to see her friends participate in activities that she loved and she had to watch from the sideline you know, it was it was so hard, and I'm the type of person to not rely on anyone, and so like that was really hard for me. And I always wanted to do everything by myself, so you can imagine how that was when <laughs> I couldn't walk around or make my own food or carry my plate around or wash myself in the shower or stand up in the shower. So it was really a really good learning opportunity more than anything that I would say, because you know it's not you a lot of people go through that and you never really know what it's like and how like they have to cooperate until you're the one that's actually going through it so i would say just like day to day it was definitely depressing but i was not gonna let that get the best of me i was gonna keep fighting for what i wanted and then just one day in practice i was working out with them and it was about eight months after my surgery i was just two weeks away from getting cleared and I went down again. We really didn't know kind of what to expect. Um, we went back to the surgeon, they requested another MRI and we're thinking, we were not thinking that it was a failed graft or that the surgery had failed and you know her ACL was gone and she was devastated because she had done all of this work and put in all of this time. We, we all were and we were back to square one. And you just think, why? You know, you're like, she's worked so hard and she's done so much. Why are we back in this position again where she has to start all over? And it's even worse the second time because you know what to expect. The first time you go in and it's ignorance is bliss. You don't know how bad it's going to be when you get them home and you're trying to to manage their pain and to help them emotionally you don't you don't know what to expect the second go around we knew and i just we, we were just crushed that we were going to have to do that all over again and she was going to lose another entire season of you know pursuing her dream it's like one of the longest recoveries that there is and it's they always they told me before i went into this they were like it's going to be depressing it's going to be hard you're going to get down on yourself just expect it and i was not expecting it to be that bad you know it's probably one of the lowest points in my life and i didn't want i didn't want to upset anybody else so i was i didn't really tell anybody that i was struggling and i was going through so much pain when i found out the second time it was just like oh my gosh this is not happening again and like i was in shock and i cried and i cried and i cried because i couldn't believe that this was happening to me again i was questioning myself why me why why does this have to happen to me but you know that's a wall that you have to climb over and i did it and i'm here so you know at the end of the day you, you things happen for a reason um you probably don't understand why things do happen, uh, but but things happen for a reason. She's a super motivated kid, and if you tell her, you know, she's not or she can't do something, then she's going to give all she has, you know, to prove you wrong. When you couple that with the fact that that's that's her dream, I mean, she's like, I'm, this is not going to hold me back. This is not going to hold me down. Like, let's get this done and over with and start me back on physical therapy so I can get back to what I want to do. It was definitely hard knowing that I could help the team, but I couldn't because I was hurt. So it was, that was another thing that I wasn't going to let affect me. Like I knew that like, it was like, I could have been helping them, but I was trying my best, even though I was not physically out there helping them on the court, I was using my words and encouraging them and picking them up and trying to carry them the same way that I did before, just not on the court. It meant a lot for me and my family.
because she can go through ACL surgery and come back just as good, so that means I can too. She's put in all of this work and she's grown so much as a person and as a player and just to be able to see her put all of that out there and let everyone see it as well and just be an inspiration to kind of other athletes who have either had the same injury or maybe an injury that's not as serious to know you can get knocked down but you can get back up um, and, and keep doing it over and over again you may get knocked down once and it's not going to be the last time and just to go out there and continue to pursue your dream she's she made us very proud her athleticism is there she's she's fighting she's leading she's competing in everything that she does she's a voice she's a leader she's um, a great teammate and she helps in a lot of different ways so i'm glad she's back so what are you feeling for being back oh my gosh i'm so excited it feels great i'm so excited i get to play again it's i didn't think i would get here but i'm here after a long recovery, I'm here. Never back down. We are survivors. No holding back now. They won't divide us. We have no fear. You stand beside.